Time to get a mo on. What's up, y'all? HTG Brian here, back with Mowing Mondays. That's right. I don't know how long this will stay in this Monday spot. Sort of started out as kind of a joke, which then led to sort of a challenge, which then became challenge accepted. And then some reports came in that this game was actually rather soothing and sort of uh, unexpectedly fun. So, fun fact for you guys, and this is <laughs> this this is really probably some information I should probably keep to myself, but. I did landscaping for a long time. Like when I was 15, I got hired by uh, one of my really good friends, his older brother who had uh, a landscaping business. And um, I worked for him for about two years. And then um, uh, we didn't get bought out or absorbed, but we were sort of long-term hired by a bigger landscaping company and uh, we were sort of known for doing like irrigation, like underground sprinkler systems and things like that. And not so much the mowing. We, we were known for like basically tearing up a yard, putting it back together with the sprinkler system and then adding like trees. And we did like apartment complexes where it was like nothing but holes in the ground. And we filled with dirt, filled with sod and trees and other things. So I have a lot of experience in this, but I was like, 15 to probably like 19 18 19 so probably three four years and that was like 23 years ago so <laughs> a long time ago anyways um we're gonna check it out Tude has been playing this and been reporting it's actually rather soothing um unexpectedly satisfying and uh this comes from a guy who actually lives on uh, a pretty decent sized piece of land that requires him to mow on devices such as we're going to see today. And, uh, you know, whenever we've talked about it, he's always like, I gotta go mow the stupid yard. So for whatever reason, it seems like this game is, you know, bringing some sort of <laughs> peace and clarity to him when even the real thing doesn't do that for him. So uh, we're going to check it out. I know that Robert was making fun. Other people will probably show up. That was kind of the goal. We wanted to see, like, the reaction of people. Um, obviously, the people who showed up for the premiere got to see a little sample of it early. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed my thumbnail, too, which had Thumby on the left side and a disgruntled Brian in the middle there. Uh, probably a little bit better imagery than yesterday's thumbnail. Yesterday was sort of a nightmare. But what's funny is I showed it today to Reese, and he goes, oh, that's not so bad. I don't like it, though. And then I showed him yesterday, which is cringy, and he was like, I love it. <laughs> That's some of your best work yet, 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 Dad. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's check the old chat here and say hi to some people. Now, as some of you already heard, I accidentally clicked refresh on my page and I loaded it, reloaded. So I, I missed like the first five or seven minutes of the chat because there was a lot of chat happening. And that might have been the case anyways due to how much chatterini there's been. But uh, early notification squad today was occupied. Chacho. And Kim, thank you guys for being early. Ben was shortly after that, as was Paige. Uh, looks like Robert was here too. What up, Bobby? Uh, Rob was out there as well. What up, Rob? Matt too. So Preston Bros unite. What's up, guys? Good to see ya. Lots of talk back and forth, mostly me. Uh, yeah. So I uh, for the second or maybe third time. Uh, I've sort of ran into a post or a link from said person who, his name is Brian. He lives in Oregon and represents the 503, which I don't know if you guys know this, but I mean, that's that was my SOCOM clan. I mean, I've got 503 tattooed on my arm here. Like, like I'm definitely a 503 representative. Um, and he's also got a GTI like mine. Same year, model, and everything. Well, not same, but same style. Um, and then, uh, on top of that, he runs a YouTube channel called Bride Guy 503 which I think I've mentioned that to you guys once before, because I was looking for a name to sort of, uh, label my channel when I started thinking about doing my GTI stories and whatnot. I bought all my GoPros, got, I was looking at dash cam, I was looking at all sorts of stuff, and then that sort of fell through, because Reese kind of lost interest in it, he was my cameraman. But, that's a whole nother story. 
uh, and now I ran into him again. So I reached out to him today on Twitter. It doesn't look like he uses Twitter very often, so I might have to reach out to him on Facebook. But and I know he uses Facebook because he posted a link in my GTI group today. But anyways, uh, let's continue to scroll. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Kirsten is here. What is up? Uh, eh, is out there as well. What is up? Eh. Looks like there were some accidental whoopsies. So it looks like Kirsten was filling in for Raised as Raised wasn't available to accidentally time somebody out or remove their comments this morning. So appreciate that, Kirsten. I'm sure Raised appreciates that as well. <laughs> Which is ironic because last night she sent me a photo of her cat. And I don't remember exactly what she said about it. She said something like, uh, well, here, let me see. Uh, she says waiting for some mouse action and i said don't you mean waiting to time someone out because the cat was basically like, it looked like it was laying sort of on a keyboard or right in front of the computer uh boy band uh, you know I, new kids on the block like was i mean i guess I mean, it depends on what you consider boy band right because like you had like the glam bands with like duran duran and, and and things like that in the earlier 80s but then you had like the boy bands uh, New Kids on the Block was barely a thing when I was in like sixth grade, I want to say. Um, and then all the other ones, NSYNC and everything else came out after that. And when you're in high school or after high school, that stuff's not cool. Like, I, I'm not saying it, it wasn't fun or nice or good music. I'm just saying like the cool factor is, right? So I, I, I definitely didn't listen or get into that. So I, I missed the boy band era pretty much. Other than the South Park episode of Boy Band, which is arguably one of the best episodes ever. I can't say it, because I'll get in trouble. <laughs> uh, that's where Soil, that's actually where Soil came from. Seriously, the Boy Band episode of South Park. Uh, let's see here. Two's out there. What am I about to start this landscape career? Yeah, boy. Uh, lots of chat back and forth. Lots of same names. Hey, what up, Teflon? I see you up there. Devon used to make jokes about sending his raked up leaves from Florida out to us in Oregon. I don't know. Oh, yeah, send them right over. First class, that's the size. So tell him the dad's going to send him some digital grass clippings. Uh, let's see here. Oh, whoa, we got the big jump here. We got lots of people out there. What's up? Uh, Lynette, what is up? Welcome to the stream. Aiden, what is up? Welcome back. Todd is out there too. Gamers Corner too. What up? It's -a me, a GC, he says. Good to see you. Boss mode is back too. What up? PlayStation menu looks different today. That's true, Nom. It's true. It may just be your height perspective. I think if you maybe put on your big boy shoes, you, you might actually realize that it isn't the PlayStation. <laughs> Tony, what up? Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, let's see here. So, oh, Kirsten, don't support his terrible jokes. That was, okay, so for like entry lines that was very low like i can tell it's a monday i can tell that nom is in nombi mode because that was like on a scale of one to ten i think it was like negative four so <laughs> new edition beat them all oh yeah 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 that's right what about tony 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 come on tony out of all the people in here you should remember tony 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 <laughs> uh oh what up josh is out there too what up nine good to see you man boy bands no good see what i'm saying you know you know you're, you're roughly in the same age but like that stuff wasn't cool for when when we were the age you know what I, mean? uh, I don't even want to get into it um dang he even expects me to carry the jokes <laughs> bro i'm just saying normally the bar for nom jokes are up here but you came in way down here today. I'm just saying the level of disappointment is at an all-time high right now. Uh, definitely at an all-time high. So, uh, Nine, good to see you, man. Uh, it's awesome that Lawn Mowing Simulator brought you around today. Uh, I've been talking to Johnny Five a bunch this morning. I, I actually rounded him up a PS5. Um, we, we got to talking about how he hasn't been playing any games and like 503 hasn't been to... Like we need to do something. I was thinking about this the other day too. Like, like we need to have some sort of. I know that COVID's been sort of a, a restriction for a while, but it's getting gooder, and, and I feel like at some point, like there's still a, a a pretty decent core that's at least actively speaking and around. Like me, nah. Robert needs. Robert keeps talking about coming from Vegas to bring me cold chicken. 
So, I, I, you know, I'd be down. To, we should line it up so that Robert comes down. Um, regulators, mount up. That's funny. I saw a, a, a meme the other day that said, um, I, I screamed out, regulators at my job. And nobody yelled mount up, so I quit on the spot. I thought that was pretty funny. Doubt they actually did, but uh, let's see here. What up, Alex? Welcome back. Good to see you. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and jump into this nonsense. Ooh. Okay, so I, I have no idea. Like, I've probably already got copyrighted audio going here. You know my luck with that. Um, all right, career mode. In career mode, you run a lawn mowing company. Sweet, so I get to be my own boss now? I don't have to work for Randy? Oh, you guys don't even know. Working for Randy Bobandy was something else. Much love to Randy. Um, all right, create a new career. Let's do this. Let's do this. Greg's out there, too. What, what's Greg flapping about? My browser can see here. Oh, Michael's out there, too. What up, Michael? Dang it, my joke got eaten by the chat. Where's your joke? All right, let me scroll back. Let me scroll back, Greg. They just making anything into a game. <laughs> Bro, you just wait. I, I, I tried talking Tyler into something the other day, and he's a hard man to convince sometimes. In fact, the last thing I tried to convince him on, he laughed in my face, said, no, absolutely not, no way, laughed some more, and then left the chat without saying bye. He just left and discontinued our conversation, sort of like a shameful exit type of thing. Um, but I presented something else to him the other day, and he was like, I didn't think you'd be into that. And I was like, well, I am. What are you saying? He's like, I'll get back to you. Should I try and convince him? <laughs> well, it depends on uh, what the convincing is, right? Because, I mean, if it's all about being sad or sad thumbs, you definitely have an advantage over me. Um, if it has, you know, any other relevancy, I feel like I might have an advantage. All right. Um, what is happening here? Company logo? Can, can I upload my own stuff? I mean, that would be the dopeness. I mean, we already know it's HTG, right? Uh, company logo. Okay, yeah, we're good there. Okay, company. Okay. Company logo. All right. <sighs> Dude, I know you're just as disappointed as I am. I know you are. Guess we'll go with the grass. Uh. Edit player, okay. Do I really care about my player? Uh, uh, I, I guess we should keep it official, right? Whoops. Whoops. I don't know if this matters, but... Uh, did, it, did I actually add it? Okay, so... Uh, ooh. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> oh my god, I'm glad there's such a thing as an inner monologue because I likely would be in a lot of trouble right now. Uh, and Nam, you shut it. <laughs> Nam, you shut it. I don't, I don't really feel like I'm represented by any of these people. I mean, I guess this is the closest one. The pot leaf, the pot leaf does <laughs> Ah, uh, let's see here. Um, okay, edit player. We gotta go with like a yellow, but like, yeah, okay. Wait, what about this one in the top right over here? Okay. Check that logo placement, front and back, front only. Yeah, no, I'm digging the front, front and back. Uniform colors. Okay, okay. Uh, gotta go. Got to make it yellow. I think that actually looks smoother. Cut, 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 confirm! Alex getting ready to snooze away, huh? Or as my wife would say, I, I think I've shared those with you guys before. When we were like dating, we were, we'd only been together for like, I don't know, maybe six, eight months. I said something about going to, don't pretend to go to sleep or something like that. And she started, she started going, right? And I said something like, listen to you snort over there. And she said, don't make fun of my honk shoe. And I was like, honk shoe? She was like, yeah, honk shoe, honk shoe. 
<laughs> so dumb. Oh my god. She'd kill me if I, uh... Nom, you better shut it. Nobody report that to the wife. Uh, okay. Career mode. Collector type deck. This vehicle is equipped with collector type deck. You need to cut with it the grass. Clippings are sucked up into the vehicle's hopper. It's the best kind. Slurp away. Um, alright. Uh, so this is more of a mulcher? Uh, 30s type of always light under here, but I avoid grass piles on the path of the by. Okay. Okay, so it's pitching outside. Mulcher. Okay, alright, we got a mulcher, which just basically cuts it up into smaller pieces so it can, like, um, you know, biodegrade or break down, sort of, um, uh, yeah, give it its own fertilizer. Alright, so, do, do I just get to pick one? This one? Let's go yellow. Wait, no? Test drive. Back? No. I don't want to test drive any of them. I just want to play. Options. Okay. Now you have a company of your own. You will need your first vehicle to get cutting. Select a vehicle from the one. Okay, test drive. I guess I have to test drive it. Um, should I go? What, dude, Mulcher? Mulcher. No. Maybe. He might have been up here. Let's go. Let's go get our mulch on. So it's raining, like coming down sideways, wind blowing really hard right now. And I tried to get him to go outside, and he was like, <laughs> "I was like, hey, come on!" So I went out. Still, I don't know if you can see it on my shirt, and I probably still have like raindrop. It's out there just getting soaked, standing in the rain, going, "Come on, dude, come on!" Wouldn't. So at some point, I'm probably gonna have to. Uh, do that. All right, so okay, dude, this is way better than Farm Simulator already, because I don't remember being able to. I guess you could leave and get off. That's right. That's right. Um, okay, a. Once you are on your vehicle, you need to get started and onto the grass. Each vehicle is slightly different to get going. Follow the steps to get it started at the bottom of the screen. Okay, okay. Hold X to start the vehicle's engine. That's a long time holding. Okay, uh, change vehicle's throttle setting. Okay, so we got low and high. Okay, so we want low to get on and off. Maybe. And we want up and down. Okay. V to lower the deck and raise the deck. Okay. Okay. X to engage and disengage. Okay. Ooh. I guess it has to be down for it to engage. We don't want to engage anyways, though. <laughs> Killed it! Killed it! Remember when I was like, yeah, my parents were able to like into the bag the way they told us they told us. Oh yeah, that would have been frustrating too. You're like, come on, all these years of me putting in this hard work. Raise it. Alright. Up. Oh. Okay. When the vehicle started, take a moment to get used to the drive to grasp and start cutting. Okay. Well, Okay, so I already am not a fan of the backwards control there. All right, we're off. Well, I hope that you can, like, add horns and stuff. Okay, so, uh, we don't. Okay. And then let's go ahead and get her. Oh, once on the grass, you need to get the deck right back cut height. Gauge cutting the blades. You should never ever turn your blades when on. Wait, you should only ever turn your blades on grass. Otherwise, you'll damage them. Okay. Uh, when on contracts, you'll be required to cut the grass a certain height. Dang, these fools be like, like measuring. All right, five to six centimeters. Okay, five to six centimeters. Are you gonna let me play? Well, cutting, you can track your progress with the bar on the top right. I see it. Progress bar shows how much you have required and amount you have to cut. Grass cut at the correct height fills the bar white. Grass that is too short fills the bar red. Okay. Go red on you. Uh, we got to go. Oh, oh. Okay, so that was not good. Uh. This up. Okay, there we go. I was I pushed the wrong thing button. Okay, and then uh, X. All right. 
Dude, is there a first person view? Ooh. Not first, but there's a third. And we're off. We're off. Do I get to come back with like an edger? Yeah, this thing turns on a dime, bros. That was a little too low over there, huh? Some of those edges, they'd be tricky. I shouldn't be taking out those flowers, probably. I mean, they look like wildflowers to me, anyway. We're good. <laughs> Three. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Three hours later. How am I doing, guys? How am I doing? This is a big yard for my first yard. Why couldn't they give me, like, a house backyard or something? Oh, I missed that line. What's the money? I already want my money back. <laughs> for what? Your money back for my lawn services? Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't worry about your your shed. It was like that when I got here, I promise. By holding R, you can engage Pro View. Which highlights the areas of grass that have not been cut at the required height. I'm trying to find the last bits of grass. Okay, so. Hold it. Wait. Hold R? That's it? It's an R. Is that a Porsche? Looks like a Porsche. Almost sort of looks like a Tesla, too. I mean, my meter's filling up, and it's not red, so that's good. You destroyed my grandma's favorite flowers. Well. Sorry, Nammy's grandmammy. <laughs> that has a nice ring to it. Nammy's grandmammy. A little bit of a stretch, but it works. Okay, what was that all about? Is there like a high spot? We all know those exist. Anybody who's ever mowed a yard before knows that those high spots exist because you like get the blades caught and, and it leaves like that shredded like death <laughs> spot. You are overloading your engine. Wish I had some music click right thumbstick. I did, and it didn't change anything. Uh, if you want to get off the vehicle for any reason, press and hold B. I used to go so fast. When I lived with my grandparents, we had like an acre and a half that I had to mow. And I had a mower sort of like this, too. And, um... That was sort of during that same time, 15, 16, 17. Uh, oh, 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 oh. And, uh, man, I put that thing at like six. It went to seven. I put it at like six, and I just let her rip. Just out for a rip, are you, bud? So, like, I don't feel proper without tunes blasting always have tunes in my ears. Usually a set of uh, earmuffs over the top. Dudes, what we should do? We're talking about a 503 get-together? The Volcano Stadium is on Airbnb. We should rent that mug out. That would be fun. 
See if we can get Mercy to come back and get tased again. <laughs> Actually, we can't do any tasing. Greg's in jail. So I read there was another guy. So for those who don't know, we had a clan member in, in our 503 SOCOM clan. That uh, ooh, there's a nice little spot I missed right there. Let me let me swoop around and get that real quick. Um, he was a security guard, and um, he had his own business. And about, I guess it's probably been two, maybe three years ago, maybe even longer, actually. It's been a couple, two, three, four years ago. Um, he was in a situation where uh, he got a call to a storage facility, and he went to the storage facility, and he found himself in a situation where he felt he needed to draw his weapon. Now, he's a security guard not a police officer and I'm not sure what the laws are on carrying a loaded gun while on security duties but because they had their own security company I'm sure they had certain rules or whatever um, and he drew his weapon and at some point something happened and he shot and he actually shot the guy who later died and Greg thought he was doing his job went to court and they found him guilty of manslaughter now Greg is like one of the nicest guys you've ever met but he did have sort of this weird I mean, I'm sure anybody who met him sort of knew he kind of had like this almost trigger happy mentality on him you know he was the one he tased one of our other members who asked to be tased I don't know who wants to be tased but he did. Whoa, look at that spot. I can't get it. Um, and uh, I, I read an article this morning that a security guard up in Portland, basically in the same type of scenario, um, was found guilty and is going to jail too. And it made me think, gosh, Greg's been in there for a few years. I don't know what his time is or whatever. He messaged me like a year ago, maybe, maybe a little bit longer was like they gave me Facebook and that lasted for like a week and then I, didn't, I haven't seen him on Facebook at all anymore you know and of course I'm sort of reluctant to talk to him again nice guy never did anything to me never had any problems but you know but yeah uh, Airbnb Volcano Stadium wannabe cop Yeah, he, uh, they, him, so his family, him, his wife, his mom and dad, and I want to say his cousin went through all of this stuff, business training and, like, the security training, whatever it takes, like, each one of them found their role, and they jumped in, and they created, um, which I thought should have been Nighthawk Security, because that was Nighthawk was his SOCOM name, uh, but it it didn't go that route. It was something else. I don't remember. It's Top Flight Security. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, definitely uh, a, a sad, unfortunate story. Ooh, I'm almost to my bar. Now that bar, that doesn't mean I'm done, right? Because, I mean, I can't imagine the contract would be, hey, Mo, 20% uh, of my yacht, and then get out, huh? Right? Top flight, top flight security of the world, Craig. <laughs> uh, great work. In a real contract, you'd be expected to cut all the grass. Okay. Uh, leave location. Cutting complete. Bye. Oh, oh. Almost forgot. Dude, Nom, it's like you actually paid attention to what the game was saying. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could do that. Well, I think that mower needs an upgrade so it can go faster. I, you know, by the time we get done with this stream, I think I'll probably have like one yard fully mowed. Uh, okay, so B, I think. Five 
euros, bro. Okay, uh, RB to sprint. Wait a minute. Right hand drive to. Let's go. <laughs> Can I get a boop boop? No, there's no tutorial. Boop boop. Purchase your vehicle, or you can test drive another vehicle. Ah, I feel like well, okay. So wait, four point three miles an hour, seven miles an hour, nine miles an hour. Okay, so okay. So this one yeets out the side. It's got a side breather there. Appreciate that, no. Appreciate that. <laughs> this game on PS. Maybe I'm currently playing it for free on Game Pass. Free is a kind of an interesting word to use there, but yes, uh, it, it is on Game Pass. Hold on a second. Uh, okay, that's good. That's good. All right. Uh, the problem with this one here is oh, wait, top speed. Okay, so never mind. That's nine horsepower five miles an hour so it's only a little bit faster than this one this one does go seven miles an hour i don't like having to uh shooter mcgavin it out the side though so i'm feeling like it's either going to be the stiga or the knight let's rock twitter uh let's rock black and yellow black and yellow black and yellow Ooh, yellow black The dream begins! I don't know whose dream this is, but... Uh, while a mower is great for open areas of grass, string trimmers are public for lawn edges. I was wondering if I was going to have to do that or not. Uh, contracts require a mower and string trimmer, so you need to purchase a string trimmer now. Okay, so I want the beefiest one. Toro, Toro, Toro! Uh, this battery type? Petrol. Petrol's always going to be more powerful. Uh, 24 cc. This one's more environmentally sound, though. Oh, jeez. It's also a little bit more heavy on the old Walletto. Contract map, let's go! Okay, we got a front garden. Looks like that's where we're going. Once you select a contract, you can see information about its value and requirements. If you wish to accept the contract, you need to assign an employee vehicle and equipment. Select either the employee vehicle or the next left. Okay. Uh, career mode contracts need an employee assigned to them to be attempted. At the minute, the only employee you have is you. That will change as your company grows. Okay. It's me. Uh, let's go with this one. That's the only one we got. And we'll go with that one because that's the only one we got. And um, okay, so five to six centimeters. Ground check time limit? What the heck? Recommended cut time, 26 minutes? Is it really gonna take me 26 minutes to cut this first yard? I wanna be at the BRB time before we get through our first project here. Good lord. Um, yeah, I was talking to uh, my, my buddy Johnny this morning, as I mentioned, and he was asking me, he's like, I've been out of the loop for so long, what are the games you, you know, are hot right now? I said, oh, there's a lot of good ones. I said, as far as PS5 games, like I really like Ghost of Tsushima, um, a lot of the other games that are out there are available on multiple platforms, like Back for Blood, and you know I named a few others. Um, and I said, it really just depends on what you're interested in. He said, oh, man, I haven't played anything. I said, well, if you want to dig through my crappy videos, here's a list of all the games I've played recently, and it goes back quite a ways. And I just sent him a link to the channel page with all the videos, and he started laughing. He's like, Deer Simulator? And I was like, yeah. I was like, bro, today I'm playing Lawn Mower Simulator. He's like, what? <laughs> I was like, yeah. It's like, wow, things really have changed. And I was like, yeah, pretty much. Um, all right, so confirm. Let's go ahead and do this. Confirm. Okay, the front garden of Old Milk Cottage requires a general cut. The lawn is surrounded by flower beds, so take care not to damage them. Do not leave clippings in the beds. Okay, okay, okay. As you set up, confirm contracts that are pinned. Oh, no. oh, so I gotta drive there and stuff too, or what? Get started. Okay, so it's got a pin there. Front garden. Let's go. Nice. Appreciate that there. This Nice little cottage house. 
Uh, at the start of each contract, you have a small period of time to find and remove any object on the grass. It's like before your putt, you got to go make sure that you get all the clippings and divots out of the way. Uh, you can choose to skip the ground check and have objects automatically removed by interacting with your mower or equipment. This means you don't earn money. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to go. Move around. I like that I can sprint. I'm assuming I will see something. If there is something. Three objects collected. Okay, so there's three of them. Now that I'm looking. Okay, here's something. There's another something. Okay. Pick up rocket. Rocket! Yeah! La, 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 la. Don't remember the words. Rocket! Yeah. Death Leopard for you, all right? Ooh, wait. Go check, go, 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 go. Hey, Josh, flexing up. Ooh, look at that. Almost that two-year mark, Broski. I wish they had a two-year badge. I think it goes to. Does it go to three or five? I can't remember what the next one is. Maybe it is two years actually. No, it's not two years. Pearson would probably be there too, wouldn't it? We'll have to look into that. Uh, all right, I'll do the string trimming later. Ground check complete. It's time to start cutting some grass. Use you can use your strimmer or vehicle. What? Your strimmer? What? What's a strimmer? Strimmers are the best for cutting. Am I on my strimmer? Is that the type of... Uh... There is a two-year badge. Okay. So then I wish there was a three-year badge. Uh-oh. Give me a hot second here. My uh, effort, I, so I need to switch the plug over to the Xbox for power. I don't know if it'll work though. So I, I got it on the PS5. The PS5 just went to sleep, so I lost all my audio and my headphones. Uh, I should be good now though, Maybe for a little bit. Okay, uh, vehicle throttle setting. We're gonna definitely want to bump that up. Uh, height is gotta get it down. I got some nice rides. So I have not used this guy yet. This is a new one. Uh, let's go. Let's go start over here. Perform, uh, your performance during cutting will affect how much money you earn. You need to find a balance between speed and careful driving, avoiding damage. Okay. Uh, engage the blades. Oh my gosh, that's going to be tricky getting in those little archways. the flowers got to miss the flowers kick her in the tail Bob Bushes like that. Where's the tree trimmers? Probably my job too. Not on the contract though. Not on the contract. Okay. Missed a little bit there, huh? It's probably gonna be some of that, and I, I don't know how the string trimmer is gonna work. In theory, you could zap that up with a string trimmer in real life, but I just came along. Yeah, yeah. No, I did because I just turned my PlayStation on. It's good means my, my mic's going to be on for another hour until it shuts off again. But I just got to remember to hit the button. All 
All right, once I get the outside layer done, I can speed things up a little bit. I'm actually only going about 60%, I would say. Oof. Woo! Playing with fire. faster now. Worst case scenario is that my audio disappears for a second and I have to turn it back on. That's the good news about that. <laughs> the jitterbug. The jitterbug. So in real life, if you go too fast, you don't cut the grass at the right height. Uh, it says engage, but wait a minute. Okay, so I got a ways to go before I'm full yet. I was just trying to figure out where that gauge was. Oh. I got that. So we used to like stripe the yards and stuff too where you know you do the outside line and then you'd sort of find like a diagonal path and then you'd stripe it. You'd go one way and then flip a 180 and come right back down button up next to the line so that you had like a striped pattern. You'd lay it down one way and then flip it and go back the other way. And, uh, and they might call for some of that eventually. I'm sure there's a, I'm sure there's a name for it. Boy, I haven't got my turns down very well yet. Oh, bro. <laughs> my grandfather would be proud right now. He used to look out the window and see me rolling around on our John Deere tractor that we had. Technically, that tractor still exists. After I moved out, though, he hired a guy uh, who's done our stuff for many years. His name is Mike. Not Farmer Mike, but different Mike. Mike's a great guy. I missed him right there. Seems to be a spot right there I miss often. I think I'm getting gooder on the turns. You just gotta swing them a little wide because the deck is down sort of behind under our feet versus where the wheels turn. Checkerboard cutting, is that, is that what they call it? I don't know that I've ever heard of that, but that certainly makes sense. full. So I should be able to mow this whole lawn. Oh. Bogging me down, bro. This whole lawn with uh, one bag? That's crazy. That is not how it was when I mowed my big old farmland.
Definitely some high spots there. Or taller grass. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Gingerbread. Missed the spot. Oh, I'm sure I did. There's a way that I'm supposed to be able to see it, but I haven't figured that out yet. I figure it's going to be like a colorblind mode or something. Oh, crap. Aye. Again, those corners. One more pass, and I'll have to do a loop to loop around that. Definitely some high ground. That must be tree roots, which is a real thing. If you've ever mowed often around trees, there's definitely like higher raised patches. I've been at it for 10 minutes, huh? I mean, I got this thing wooded right now. Yes, yes, absolutely. Those push ones don't seem to have very much room in them. This thing is huge, though. Huge. So now what I'll do is I'll I go a little button happy there for a second. A little trigger happy. It's crazy that these people actually have a time frame that they want their yard mowed. I never really had that. I mean, obviously, if you spent all day in the yard, it was probably frowned upon, but... And the more... The more speed you have, the more accounts you can get to. So just like any mechanic or anything, like, the faster you are, the, the, the more volume of work you can produce, which in the end produces more monies, right? Give that one more go, and that should be done there. I think I'm going to hit my target time. And I guess I still have to do the string trimmer too, huh? But I'm running out of ground here. Edgar, what is up? The sound of the lawnmower. Oh, that was close, you guys. Oh, I missed a spot on that corner. Maybe that's what Josh was talking about earlier. This corner's... Ay! The 
13 minutes. Maybe not. Maybe I won't hit my mark. I guess I might as well go around and finish that, huh? <laughs> Wasn't intentionally drawn in there. It's a funny angle. Oh my gosh, just get it. Go ahead and do this edge here. Keep waiting for a two tip to tell me, oh, you don't need to do that right now. You can come back with a string trimmer. Or maybe you already did and I just missed it. I don't know what the string trimmer duties look like. So I don't know if it's like easy, if it's like a mini game up close, if you just walk over it. Sort of like the lawnmower. Waiting for some zombies attack. Yeah, no doubt. Missed a spot back there on that corner. Dude, what was your mo time for this? And did you use the same mower setup? Oh, look at that spot over there. weird that I can still hear birds chirping over the lawnmower. I'm just now picking up on that. Oh, did I get that? Sub 20 minutes, maybe. Blech. 
Anybody else ready to vomit? I know where it is. It's in those little uh, gazebo spots. Uh, what happened? Contract complete. With the cutting complete. Now you need to start your vehicle. Grass covers. In the okay. I don't have a blower or nothing though. Nope. Uh, change cutting blade to fill fuel. Okay. Change cutting blades? Do I, I don't think I need to do that yet, do I? Should I use the string trimmer? Haha! <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> I don't like how you can't turn it on its side. You need to store your equipment in the truck. Okay. Put a string trimmer. Do I need to put this up? Get on vehicle. No. Okay. So I can leave. Old Nook Cottage. Three hundred and two euros I got for that. And my reputation points went up sixty six. Well, you can show. This is the vehicle garage. Here you can fix damaged vehicles, view statistics, purchase attachments, and part exchange vehicles or purchase new ones. Let's go. First of many. Man, let's not be too sure about that. Man, I've, mowed, I've mowed one yard and done a demo in one hour of play. It's certainly a time consumer. Uh, the screen shows you the information you'll need to keep track of your vehicle's performance and status. Let's maintain your vehicle and get it ready for the next contract. It is important to keep your vehicles maintained and fixed. Ideally, after each contract, you should visit the garage, refilling your fuel tank, fix any damage. You can see the status of your vehicle on the left screen. Okay, well, uh, what about engine's good, blades? How are my blades looking? Legitified! Alright, so petrol is full. We know we got that up. Engine should be good too. Um, statistics good. Sell vehicle? Nope. Party change? Nope. Uh, chop? Nope. Exit career mode? Nope. How do I advance? Confirm. Maintenance. Grass collect empty. That's what I needed to do. 
That's a big ass grass container. Um, okay, back. Statistics. Okay, great. Money earned. Sell vehicle. No. Art exchange vehicle. No. No. I don't want to exit career mode. Oh, okay, here we go. That's what I want. Very garden house. Okay, it'll be me. Yep. And string trimmer. So six to seven. So I need to bump it up a little bit. And then um, 99.5 is target. 30 minute cut time. Get four minutes for ground and let's go. Yeah, I'm in the wrong business too. That's what I was saying too. 100, 300 euros for one yard. That's a lot, bro. Okay, so let's go. Looks like there's five objects. That's one. Two. Three. Four. And. Ooh, I probably ran right by it then, huh? Hmm. This is supposed to be easy. Another spot of grass somewhere? Um, missing or something? Let's go the opposite way and see if we find it. There it is. Bam. Fire it up, bro! Gentlemen, start your engines. We want seven, right? Six. Cutting the old edge first. Saw that I missed a little section back there. It's alright though. String trim if needed. Cut it to seven so you can come back sooner for more of their money. Yeah. I'm nice guy Bry though. I like to have uh, satisfied customers. I'm not trying to create a bunch of sad thumbs army. Oh no. Oh no. Fine. It's not good. That's a technical foul. That was a cheeky flower placement, too, like in the bush.
Oh, so yeah, yesterday there was something being cooked. I don't know if you guys remember that or not. I was like freaking out. Like, I can't determine what that is, but it smells odd. But I want whatever. It was roasted garlic and cheese. My wife did this weird, and she's done it before too. She takes a clove of garlic or a couple cloves, puts them in the oven and roasts them for I don't know how long. And then you take the roasted garlic clove, which is sort of like, I don't know, it's like crunchy on the outside, mushy on the inside, I guess. And so she takes it and she puts it on the cheese and like cooks it for another five minutes or something. And then when she does that, it like sort of sinks into the cheese and then she can take crackers and like, I don't know, like, like sort of dunk and scoop into the cheese and it's all warm and soft. Did I miss some right there? Um, and, uh, and with garlic in it. Not for me, but she was all over it yesterday. I should say there wasn't a lot of kissing going on after that. Put the mistletoe away. <laughs> Jesper, what is this? What is this game about? Uh, this game is about lawn mowing. We are mowing lawns. We have to start our own business and basically be a good employee. If you do good enough, you can actually hire people to work for you. And if that is going well for you, then you can take on multiple lawn mowing contracts at once, expanding your business and, and monies, and uh, hopefully become like the most famous lawn mower to ever exist. I don't know if I'll make the lawn mowing hall of fame or not, but I'm hoping to. Destroys a flower as he's talking about customer satisfaction. Oh yeah. Bro, that was a weed anyways. And, and shame on them for standing in their window watching me. Who does that? I mean, I'd say who has time to watch their landscapers landscape. But the people who have the money to afford landscapers probably have time to watch the landscape. It's <laughs> usually how it works. So each lawn, too, has a certain time frame. You're supposed to mow it within... There's obviously rules like don't destroy the flowers, things like that. Uh, if you have Game Pass, it is available. Yes, that's where I'm playing is on the Xbox Game Pass. Free is kind of an odd term to use because you do have to pay for the service. But yes, it is part of the game choices available. Boy, that was a like a chinchilla or something in the woods there as I drove by on the side there. I don't know what that was. So I'm right on target for time. I, wait, they gave me 30 minutes, right? I'm aimed to be 20 minutes if I keep going the speed I'm going. So I've got 21% done and I'm about six minutes. little section here kind of look like Florida not so much anymore but what if it's totally done well then we move on we put our park our tractor and we go back and we refuel dump our clippings I mean it's just like you would have to do if you were really mowing a lawn um, and then you go back to your shop fix anything that might need to be fixed and then you uh, of course can move on to your next contract. Ooh. Yeah, I do wish there was like some music playing. Not necessarily like the same tune. It's the, like the happy go lucky tune would get old fast, but tempted to plug in my Spotify to my Fox plug so I can hear my music in my headphones. 
<laughs> I mean, who mows the lawn without headphones? Even when I was a kid, I used to have a cassette player or a CD player that I'd listen to music while I was doing stuff. The CD player on a riding lawnmower, though? Not the most ideal scenario. <laughs> A lot of cussing. Stop skipping! Stop skipping! Uh, some of the things that uh, we went through that most people will never have to experience. <laughs> like seriously, think about that. Portable CD player on a riding lawnmower. If you had it just right on like your leg, it would not vibrate to the point of not being able to play. But if you hit a bump or anything, <clears throat> skip and you'd be waiting. There's a song by Aesop Rock and Kimya Dawson, part of an album called The Uncluded, Pokey Fright. And, um, uh, called don't walk on the grass please don't walk on the grass please don't walk on the grass it's all folky too so um, it's actually kind of a funny song their banter back and forth and how they come off on like the microphone and stuff is pretty cool whoa what are you doing Brian where are you going you're totally messing this up no not this is a funny angle though it's got a tighter turn than this thing can make A little wider. A little wider. Anybody else getting dizzy yet? How about now? was a bad take. I tried to go super yeet fast. I think I missed some. I did. I don't know what that is over there on that right side. I don't know if you guys can even hear it, but it's all. <laughs> like, I don't know what it. It's some sort of bird or sound effect for an animal of sorts, but it's kind of scary. Dang, nature, you scary. What times do I go live? Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and then Sunday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I need to post my uh, current schedule up on the YouTube community page. I always mean to do that after the game break happens, but I often forget. We need to post Kirsten's up there, too. I don't know. Do you have a current graphic, Kirsten? I know I know you have a graphic scenario, but I, I don't know if you have one with the current setup. If you don't, you know, maybe get, get it figured out in the next day or so, and we can get that posted to kind of help boost some holiday stuff, because you know people will be on break soon. And you know people need to get their uh, cussing like a sailor videos in. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know, you quit playing Alan Wake. What games do I play live? Uh, Switch is on different days. Right now, mon mowing Mondays. Uh, we've got Apex Legends on Tuesdays. Wednesdays, we are currently playing Guardians of the Galaxy. Thursdays, I take off. And Friday, we've been playing Forza. There's rumors that it might change to Fortnite. I don't know if, there any if there's any truth to that or not, though. Somebody was saying that gotta get that Fortnite Chapter 3 going. <laughs>
12 minutes, 55%. Oh, oh, oh. Went for the old PlayStation itch there. Hoping it was 30 minutes and not 20 minutes. Old Brian, old man Brian Brains, feeling like it was 20 something minutes, but it's probably 30 something. Hopefully, hopefully, about time to swing around both of these guys. <laughs> Some of you thought I was playing around when I said I was jumping into this today. So far, it hasn't let me down. I mean, yellow and black themes. I feel like this was made for me. All right, let's do some loop-de-loops here. I've already got most of this guy. Done, but let's go ahead and play it slow and safe. Okay, let's go a little bit wider. So we got a new shorter path. What the crap? How did I miss that? Some really tall waving in your face kind of grass right there. Like, don't forget about me. Hey, guys, don't forget about me. Like, what the crap? What if you get flowers? I get fined, actually. I hit one earlier by accident that was hiding in a big tree, and uh, sadly I was fined for it. I don't know how much yet. It just notated, you hit a flower, you were fined. Probably not much. I mean, it was a little tiny flower. Had to have been. You know, I'm really surprised old Brad took off and didn't want to watch this today. <laughs> Said he had better things to do or something like that. Let's get that corner all nice and secure for the future lappage. Soften this up a little bit too, huh? Sir Meows a lot. Booyah Kasho! What is up, Sir Meows a lot? Welcome to the stream! Alright. Let's go do I think, one more pass over here and I should be good. Alright, two more passes, it looks like. Oh no, I missed some right there. Shave and a haircut. Two bits. What? Just 
thing turns on a dime, y'all. It's hard to get that corner just right. I even slowed down and tried to make it easier. Nah. There's still a spot there I might have missed. I'm sure I missed some there. I always miss some on the turn. I don't know that I did that time, actually. I'm getting gooder. I remember watching all your LEGO Star Wars 3 videos. Hey, yeah. Thanks for watching them. Appreciate your support. Not only watching those videos, but stopping by today, too. It all means the world to me and others as well. Like, Nam, he won't admit to it, but it does. He made his day by showing up today. Alright. Let's just soften that corner up, huh? What? You have managed to damage the ground and destroy some of the grass. Turning your vehicle at full lock for extended periods of time. No! That's a thing too, honestly. You go too fast, you can actually put a little divot in the ground. So yeah, you can't turn too fast with the wheel at full lock, which is a full turn. Oh, teach me! Not really. I don't see the mark I left, either. That's pretty much what I was. I was full throttle. Just hitting them corners. Dipping. Why is my time going up? Because it's timing me how long it takes me to mow. So I have a timer. If I don't mow it within a certain time, then I'm bad at my job and I get fined for that or maybe lose reputation points, which are crucial to getting and landing new jobs. So I'm almost to that. I think it was 98%, 98.5% I think was my goal if I hit that mark then I'll be good to go it's getting to the point where I almost need to do some swinkles huh no crappy petunias <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it happens. So they pay me the big bucks. Ooh, there's some tall grass there, huh? On the turn. So this whole side is dun, 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 dun. stretcheth <sighs> Dag Nabbit. So I gotta drive over to Okay. I wasn't paying attention to that. This yard's clearly bigger. Wait. What just happened? So confused. Running out of time here, too. Okay, off. How do I, I guess I don't understand how to, ah, uh, there we go, didn't even have to get off, let's go, Ooh, it's going to be a photo finish. A photo finish. Must have been higher than 98.5 because I've got that. It'd be funny if it's like, you've done it, but I did such a good job trimming the edges that it leaves this big patch in the middle. It's a Nike swoosh. Just do it, bro. Just do it. Just do it. said reverse it towards the bag. I don't read though, bro. Blades got some damage done to him. 95, look at that, I leveled up. 
Pikachu! Positive word of mouth. No thanks to Nom. Welcome to your company HQ. Here you can edit your avatar company ID as well as take out an advertisement to gain more reputation points. Currently your HQ only has one vehicle bay, but once you earn more money, you can upgrade it to have a second vehicle bay or purchase a bigger HQ with multiple a uh, vehicle bays. Uh, once you have a second vehicle, you can start to hire another employee. Sweet. Insufficient funds to upgrade. Current HQ value, 150,000 euros. Let's go, go, go. Okay. I don't, nope. Advertisements. Okay. And let's go to... Let's go to maintenance. Uh, no, I don't know. Ninety-nine percent blades, though. Not ready, though. They took out some damage, but they're still good. I filled the tank. There's empty. Okay. So let's take on our next. Ooh, ooh. Nomeo. Four star. Holy cow. Here, which one should I do? I guess we'll do the old Nook Cottage. Is this the same one I did though? It's got to be a different one. So seven to eight, so seven and under 20, 1930. Well, let's do this. Hey, Jas Jasper, all good, man. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out today. We'll be around. The video will be available to watch later, too, if you so chose to. Okay. Uh, oh, we've been here before. All right. Seven objects on the ground. Do I have to run around this way? How do I get the crap? Oh, the other side. Okay, okay. It's at seven, right? Yeah, seven. Oh my! Oh my! Was that a TARDIS? It is a TARDIS. It's a telephone booth! Thing said it was complex, didn't it? Guess I'm not sure why. It's just like an old field. The, the 
outer limits here is pretty easy. So far, anyways. Not a lot of bushes or shrubs to take out. Stuff is pretty tall right there. I wonder if that's what sort of doles out my blades or if it's something else. You know, obviously, hitting things like toys or stuff that I didn't pick up would certainly destroy my blades, but. Mowing along in all the right places. Mowing along. Getting stupid paid. See, Tude's been playing this as well. It's too bad I can't hire Tude as my second employee. Motor overload! You overload it by driving too fast to cut at once. You'll suffer engine damage and cut your quality will be affected. Cutting when overloaded will leave blades of cut grass. Okay. Remember to bump that PS controller to keep it alive. It's alive. It's alive. Ooh, it's almost BRB time. Bobby's still out there? I figured his cold chicken would need some tending to, but... Trying to boost in certain areas, but it's, it's clearly. Did it actually leave some uncut grass? String trimmer might be best for this little area right here. Oops. I got 
Not most of it, but there's definitely still some area that might need a little trimmy trim. Chat died out, huh? Jesper left and took the chat with him. still out there. Good, good, good. I'm not overloading it. It's starting to bog down and I'm letting off. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Mean game. File an investigation. I'll need that or not. I might have done a close enough job there. Todd's still out there too. Good, good, good. Also with my phone. And my phone's been giving me troubles too. I need to go get a new one, but I'm not willing to really take on any of the deals that I'm being offered right now. So I'm sort of like holding out, but I think it's only hurting me. I don't think T-Mobile's missing out on anything by me boycotting their current deals. Boy, this job requires a faster. I might have the wrong mower. That's okay. So there might be certain jobs that require certain mowers. Like this one might have needed a mulcher or a side shooter. Just got a new one, huh? What'd you get? I've been looking at that S21 Ultra. That's the one I want, but it's the most expensive one right now for Samsung phones. And uh, I'm not trying to pay $1,200 for a new cell phone. That's ridiculous. Much like mowing a rail lawn, it's just starting to get a little frustrating. Look at that patch down the right there. I missed that whole strip. 25 years I had and flip phones. I finally got an iPhone 13. Gross! 
Like, I'm an Android guy myself. Round and round we go. Do 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 do. Round and round we go. So we puke. How is there still a strip there? And some right there. Anytime I bog down, it leaves grass uncut, which is realistic. But driving at this speed is not. <laughs> Yo, what up, Joey? My bag is almost full. Next time I make my round by the truck, I'm going to go hop off and go do that real quick. Hop off my route, that is. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm making the target time here. How is the Joey? Welcome to the winning side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, let's talk about your winning side and how you're scared to update things on that platform because you like the old stuff, not the new, or scared of it not working? Sounds like a real good place to me. <laughs> oh man, I don't know how many will actually catch that. There's a pretty good zinger in the chat right now, though. <laughs> that one did hit. You all correct, sir. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I didn't say it. It wasn't what I said. It's in the chat. I can't take credit for it. <laughs> Looks like it landed for Kirsten, too. That's how I mow real lawns too, by the way. <laughs> hey, Marion! Nice attempt at being a troll! Get trolled back, boy! Or girl! Whatever. Whatever? Whichever. <laughs> and Joey got to swing the hammer! That's awesome! I guess it wasn't really a hammer, but the timeout. Joey got to flex up. That's good.
Go, 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 get him, boy. <laughs> Don't drop it, dude. It might hurt. Watch them toesies, brosy. Deserve the timeout. It's only one person around here that gets to call me that. And it ain't him. Or her. Whatever the case may be there. None of those, Todd. Reese had an iPod Mini, but like, like years ago, like eight, six, eight years ago, like a long time ago, that thing has been dead. D E D dead. Can't wait. Once I finish this mod, I get to take a lunch break. in this yard. Not today. At least not right there. <laughs> What's up, Gray? I mean, bro, you were all in on Farming Simulator. Don't be hating, bro. Don't be spreading that hate. That's for Nom. Nom's the hater aid. This is better than BF 2042. <laughs> I haven't played. I, I would no. I played the beta or the alpha, whatever the crap it was, um, and I didn't hate it. I mean, there's definitely some things that weren't right, but I mean, it was an early, early build, so um, I've heard mixed emotions about the current status of it. So I have not purchased it. I actually had a friend offer to buy it for me and my son, and I turned it down because, for one, I didn't think my son would play it a lot with him. And, and I, my time doesn't line up very close with his, so uh, I was just like, you know, I appreciate that, but we'll probably get it down the road, especially if the campaign side of things drops. But currently, there's no campaign for it or nothing either, which is a big bummer for me. I like those campaigns. I still want to return back and play the uh, finish the Vanguard campaign. Ashton, what is up? You show up often and ask that often. Yes, we, we do remember you. Good to see you. There's actually a couple of Ashtons, or at least a couple of different profiles. Maybe you under different names, but... Already been, been there, done that, Greg. Been there, done that. You missed the entry part, I guess. Definitely spent hours riding mowers. Hence why I'm so good. Hence why I'm getting paid! So wait, then you're just recycling my joke? Is that what- is that, are you just admitting to recycling my joke? What could be nicer? My lawn mowing skills? Great, those are fighting words, bro. 
Just glad you're not mowing my lawn. I don't care. <laughs> you missed a spot. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Shouldn't have hired me. <laughs> Something like that, right? <laughs> totally wonderful and thoughtful gosh that's so nice you guys I feel like I am totally wonderful and thoughtful the description does match me I already made nice start lines, bro. Outline. I'm trying to tell a landscaper how to landscape. Come on. My guess is I've got more hours on a mower than you. Not that that's something to really be proud of, but. Ooh, there's a mud spot right there. I need to make sure I go slow <laughs> through there. Hey. It's a yard, not a farmer's field. Yeah. Which, which takes away from your experience. You have farming experience. I have a yard maintenance experience. Change your profile again, uh, Ashton. Okay, so it is the same Ashton. Just showing different profiles. Gotcha. Yeah, the currency is in euros. It's all right-hand drive. We're, we're in, in Britain. That's where we are. That's what the game says. According to the developer and the press release. Uh, maybe. I, it's the fact that we're in Britain. I, I we can't change that. You might be able to change the currency, but it's default to euros. Cars, right-hand drive. I mean, obviously, you can't really tell the difference on the lawnmower, but, like, my, my maintenance truck is a right-hand drive truck. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like this was the wrong mower for the job. I should have picked a different job, and I don't know. I'll have to figure out. Dude, where are you at, man? Why, uh, how do I know which is the right mower type? Does it, I wonder, it might even tell me. Is it like a chicken coop right there? What the crap is that? I feel like I'm going to have to dump the bag again. Bag. Bro, just think. Gray, if you moved to Britain, 
You'd be rich! I mean, considering all the pounds you possess... <laughs> I would be too. Oh, boy. Boo? 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 <laughs> no? Big Boo? Was it big for the excess pounds? Is that... Is that... <laughs> you don't want to give me the satisfaction for the boo? So wait. I, you don't even want to give me the credit for being bad? Like, you don't even want to call me out for being bad anymore? Nam, I'm not sure you're... I feel like Nam has been taken over. I don't know if that's actually him. Had a couple of weak comments in the chat. I'm starting to really question this whole thing. Might be a Lena takeover. <laughs> oh, dude. You keep it up, Nom. I'll unleash the Kraken. And I know you don't know what that is. But I assure you, you will not enjoy it. Hahaha. <laughs> waiting for one more comment and I'll, I'll I'll drop the first line of my plan afterwards and I think you'll figure out real quick where I'm going with it and I think you'll probably pucker up a little too I don't enjoy most yeah sad thumbs for the win I get it I get it <laughs> I like it. nobody asked Patrice hilarious I'm, I'm gonna by the time I'm done with a four-hour stream I'm gonna have like five lawns mode Check Facebook by chance. Uh, not in the last minute or two. I saw yesterday's uh, Hulk fiction. I saw that. I saw it on like two other people's feeds too. So I don't know if that's like a new meme or if it's just like getting some steam for some reason or what. But it was odd that I saw it on two people. Yeah. And you don't know Mitch, so there's no way that, like, he got it from you or you got it from him. You guys might follow, like, the same group or something, though. Looks like I have four new messages right now. What up, Chacho? Welcome back. You've only missed two yard mowings. And one wasn't to completion, either. <laughs> Mm 
I'm almost full. I'm gonna be so pissed if I don't get to finish this. If I have to empty the bag again. The bag is going to legit fill up right before I get done. <laughs> nice. Now. I mean, ninety eight point nine. Come on. I wonder if this is going to be enough or if I'm going to have to get the old string trimmer out. It's going to do it. No. seeing any and other than this stuff right there but that's like danger danger not really back for blood became super repetitive and um, you know with uh, availability and requiring other people it's too much of an uphill battle and the analytics on it were, were okay, but weren't great. I'd be willing to bet that today will probably be better than the last time we played Back for Blood. But moving forward, probably not so much. Now, you, you know how it is. New games usually get a lot of love first day. Not at all, bro. String trimming, new mowers, new business. It's all new, bro. It's all new. I enjoy a good lawn mowing. Look at that. 543. Incorrect cut penalty zero. Okay, so I lost collisions. So I did get $12.41, but that was because of that one plant. Advertising campaign to update social media. Okay, accept. Okay. Amateur challenge two. Okay, okay. Okay. Amateur challenge three. Okay, okay. Let's go to... Um, So let's go to the shop. Let's go maintenance. I don't think we're ready for blade repair yet. Repair 81%. Full repair $9? Okay, let's do it. Well, we've got petrol in the tank. We can empty that up. Vehicle repair, 13 bucks. Yeah, let's, might as well. 
Um, okay, so let's go headquarters. What about purchase? Where's the okay shop? Boom. So I need 2,200 euros, and I got 1,200 right now. So I need to do at least one, maybe two more jobs before I can purchase a new one. However, we're gonna take a quick BRB, which is gonna require me to take Drexler out. I'm hoping that it isn't gross outside, uh, but I should be back in a minute or five. See you soon.
What is up? You guys just rocking out here? <laughs> Enjoying the old guitar riff. Alright, so... Let's go look at our... I just ran outside with Drax in the rain. I'm soaked. Probably can't tell. Got him to go to the bathroom. Got upstairs, sat down. Almost hit the button, realized I didn't grab a drink. Ran downstairs. Ran back up. Whew. Brian's out of breath. So, this one is I recommended deck width. So, that is going to be part of our stuff, I think. And how big is our deck? Giggity. Uh, deck width, deck size 84 centimeters. So not the best one there. Oh. Deck width 120. Is this one? Uh, 100 centimeters. Okay, so like all of these are not the right ones. 130. So can I up? Wait, maybe I should upgrade. Maintenance. Hmm. Can't get attachments for this one. And I can't buy. Huh. Upgrade. I have insufficient funds to upgrade. But that's for my HQ, though. I want to upgrade. What am I missing here? You got to ask, dude, what's the best <laughs> He, he, he likes playing with his deck, huh? What up, Carter? Welcome to the stream! Um, Alright, well, I guess I will... Okay, so three star, two star, two star. So I'll go with the two star just because... Oops. And um, hopefully this will get me enough money for 80. And I can potentially start... Uh, I mean, I, I want to buy another mower. One with a bigger deck. <laughs> Oh, wait, what's this? Dude, you're kidding me. Stop it right now. Stop it right now. Guess what I just got an email for with a game key. Dear Simulator. I'm not even kidding. Brian, even your most absurd dreams can't hold a candle at, to the scenarios waiting you in this action-packed indie sandbox. Blah, 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 blah. Would you like a game key? Click here, if so. Been there, done that. Where's my t-shirt? That's what I should say. Dude, what is up? I, I, you know, it's too late now. I've already, I've already selected and whatever, but, uh, I'm gonna need some, some advice on upgrading my, my DAC. I got three objects. I got Stefan. So far, so good, though. I've only had, like, what, 100 euros in penalties? Not even. Like, $25, $30 in euros. Or, not euros. Pounds. Pounds. Sorry. I saw that Gray corrected us. Stupid Americans. Don't know the money currencies in other places. I also added that in. Which is probably not only true, but... With the added sound effect. Okay, so let's move that. No jump? Dude Todd, how are you playing this, bro? There's no jump. I don't understand. This that does not compute. Two doesn't play games that doesn't have a jump. Oh, I gotta drive down this whole little I just go right over those bushes right there. Okay, left or right side first. Really doesn't matter. What? Oh! oh! I'm cutting the wrong height. Okay, I didn't even check the height. Whoops. Uh, five and a half to six and a half. Okay, so. Go. Oh! Five and a half to six and a half. Okay, so there we go. Six. Still the wrong height? Can I set it in, in increments that are. 
different than that? Dude, leave! I was doing fine till you showed up. You seem to have the Tyler effect on me today. <laughs> keep it together, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together. I, I know the height change, but half inches, though. I, I wasn't sure if it was wanting specifically five and a half or six and a half. I'm in the range now, but it seems to be working. I want the deck size, though. I want to upgrade my deck. I figured you'd be the guy to talk to. Because all these jobs say best suited for like 110, 120, 130 centimeter deck. And I'm only rocking a, like a 90 or something. Something pretty minimal. I know they say size doesn't matter, but in some cases it does. Should have bought a third mower. I only have one mower, bro. So a second, I just don't have enough cash. I mean, I could take out a loan. Is that is that what you do? You take out loans? I'm trying to avoid. I'm trying to pay cash, bro. I'm trying to keep this business in the in in the positive. I don't want to have a a loan payment every month. Just ripping. This is pretty much how I mowed my grandparents' lawn. Woo! Coming in hot. Uh, should have bought the third. Oh, the third mower. I, I get what you're saying. The mulcher. Not a third mower, but the third option. It was yellow and black, bro. I had to go with this one. And this one was like way faster, like almost two miles an hour faster than than the other one. But yeah, noted. It's good to have more than one mower, okay? I already played that joke. If you wouldn't meet meet me all the time, you would have remembered. <laughs> Size doesn't matter, dude. Oh wait, yes it does. <laughs> the jitterbug. The jitterbug. Oh. Make uh, some soikles, some biggie donuts, a lot of donuts. So far, I haven't like yoinked the blade or anything yet. 
Gak 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 gak. Dari separi. Whoa! I couldn't go forward there. I was stuck. Did you 100% this yet, too, or what? <clears throat> it's Game Pass, bro. You can be mowing right now, Gray. You could be mowing right now, bro. Yeah, dude, it's on Game Pass, bro. <laughs> All this trash talking, now you're going to get your mowing. Robert's probably mowing right now, too. He's like, oh, a million good games out, and you pull this out. Come on. And then I said Game Pass, and he disappeared. Anybody notice that? I mean, maybe he had to go to work or something, but I feel like Robert's out there getting his mow on. <laughs> Too bad there's not, like, multiplayer where we can work together or even against each other. Right? We could, like, Toot could be mowing the other half right now. And Gray could be going through the tutorial getting ready to come be my third employee. That that would be dope. Cooperative lawn mowage? <laughs> be funny if they had a mini game too, where... Never mind, I won't say that. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> Not all ideas are good ideas, Brian. <laughs> Dude's gonna need Mowers Anonymous here pretty soon from the sounds of it. Back it up. Just back it up. Like, time sort of, like, magically flies by. And I sort of wish there was a first-person view, too. Really get in that lawnmower action. Yeah, I mean, this is only, like, my, what, fourth yard? I think it's only my fourth yard. And we're over two hours into the stream. I mean, I did talk and mess about for about 10, 15 minutes, but. I don't know why Tony Hawk's coming to mind right now, but just did like a 50, 50 grand across that. Game's easier than a revert, too. <laughs> you got a field, bro. That's not a yard. That's a field. 
There is a difference. Too sharp. Too sharp on the turn. The birds are chirping. Mm -hmm. Cool, if, like hummingbirds and stuff were flying by, and bees were pollinating the. You know what I mean? Like, there's definitely some additive layerage that could make this game a little bit more ambient. bit more, uh, you know, busy, happening, coolery, stuffage. Sort of got a funny angle going here. The shape is certainly awkward. Todd, have you mowed any shapes in the yards yet? You like spelled out like any bad words? That'd be pretty funny. That'd be cool if that was like part of the game too. I feel like we need to make our own lawnmower game. I'm serious because like I've got some cool ideas where like you could choose to be like a cool or like a bad, right? And your reputation is based on your actions, which is how this is, but it's not the same. Like I wanna be able to like mow bad words and shapes and, and then be like, go viral on Facebook and then have people like call you for work to go do like, like dirty things. And I'm not talking about like muddy, right? Actually, I'll do the outline and then I'll go dump. I would pimp my rag. Are there yards that require a hundred percent mow? Oop, oop, bump it, bump it. Baby bumper, baby bumper. So maybe after this, I'll take out a loan so that I can buy the mulcher. Yeesh. 
There's definitely a little bit of forgiveness here. I'm not puckered, you're puckered. Uh, let's see here, bags this way? Yeah. Every yard should be 100%. <laughs> no, nah, the yard gets done at like 99.8 or 5 or whatever. Just spent 40 minutes clearing out. Whoa! Clearing out the I can fix the leak. Wow, 40 minutes to get covered cleaned out. That's crazy. It'd be cool if there was collectibles in the game too that you could run around and find like you know new gloves trimmers you know different tools sometimes you find like items that would be belonging to the people who lived at the house and you could either return it and take a chance of like you know what i mean like there's like all this like good and bad stuff i feel like we can really build on this. Make it like the Grand Theft Auto of lawn mowing simulators. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't talk to Todd about remodeling and stuff. <laughs> uh, he might have a story or two for us. That was my first bog point. I haven't really bogged down at all. I, I haven't been going full throttle for the most part either, though. Whoa, got a little off course there. Game is almost installed. What? Give those hamsters a cheeseburger or something, bro. Mine was done in like 30 seconds. Me, 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 me. I'm waiting for that next. Speaking of cheeseburger, I could go for a cheeseburger right now, too. I think I missed a turn back there. <laughs> it's like I can see the future. Gravy loving his simulators, though. Did you play Deer Simulator? That game was... Crazy. It was fun. Yeah, it's cutting through all this grass nicely with my freshly repaired blade. Mowing lawns. Tune is out. What? Good. Now I'll actually get some stuff done. No more mistakey poos. The pressure has been lifted. The great one has left. Ah. It was a good turn until it wasn't. Or did I get it all? It looks like I got it all.
Almost to 40 number! Wait, I swear I just missed a spot. Yep. Yeah, you know, get your money's worth out of that game pass. That's what I always say. I don't play enough PS Now games, so I've been trying to, like, really maximize my game pass because it's even more than the PS Now. Uh, and a lot of games are very new versus now being very old, right? Uh, but, uh, yeah, take advantage of this if you got game pass. It's certainly not a game that I would think would encourage people to go get Game Pass 4, but, you know, to each their own. This could have easily gone a different way had Robbie just bought up the uh, cold chicken. He promised cold chicken for Immortal Mondays. I told him, bro, you show up with chicken, it's happening. But, so... If we need somebody to blame for this game, it's definitely Robert's fault. And again, I bet I would bet money he's off playing it right now. He probably set his status to offline so no one would see him too. It's something that Robert would do. Faux show. That high 70s. Aye! That corner way too early. He'll be coming round the mountain mowing lawns. He'll be coming round the mountain mowing lawns. Oh, he missed a spot. Hit reverse. Go back in. Do traverse. I don't know. That would warrant some comments. Actually, a chicken simulator game? Is there really? But is it cold chicken simulator? If it's cold chicken simulator, I'm buying it and we're quitting this stream right now. Then we're moving on to Cold Chicken Simulator. <laughs> uh oh, is Kirsten getting into the simulation game? Press Y? Why? Okay, so there is first person view. Blech. Way far away now, huh? There we go. Just do it. Scared the bejesus out of me, bro.
Alex is taking off and going to bed. Sleep well, Alex. Sleep well. Like a little bit of oopsies out there, huh? All right, looks good to me. Dream machine, huh? You know, there totally could be like storylines too for the improved lawnmower game. Where like like you show up at a house, there's like dialogue. Like, alright man, we're gonna have a party tonight, so make sure this place is spick and span, you know, like and again, you got like nice guys and you got not so nice guys. And based on your reputation, you'll either get like the better neighborhoods or the worser neighborhoods. You know, like I feel like there's a there's a whole new world to explore there. And the mechanics as far as like I mean, you got you got to have like a percentage counter that counts or tracks your progress as you mow the you got to have like different heights of Mo, right? But I don't think there's a visual... I don't think there's a difference in visual between 5.0 and 7.0. I think that when you show up, it's like 12. And then you mow it down, right? But I think that's probably pretty easy to track in an engine. It's better than, like, hitboxes and stuff for, like, I items, objects, people, I would think. Probably still hit objects though. Probably, probably hit box. The hit box for this grass is so big. It'd be like the like a leisure suit Larry lawnmower service or something. <laughs> leisure suit Larry lawn mowing. I see it in my head, I'd play it. <laughs> Doesn't mean anybody else would. Alright. Let's do a clean swinkle around here. Eight point two, we almost done. We got another Nike swoosh going here. You know, when I turn around and look backwards, I mean it doesn't look too far. I mean it almost looks like a a version of me. Got the little five o'clock shadow. Like, the profile up front, when you pick the guy, I don't felt like it had any resemblance to me. But, like, that right there kind of looks like me. I missed. Ninety-nine point three. Huh. 
I see what you wrote, Kirsten. I see what you wrote. Back then, when I was mowing lawns, absolutely accurate. Current day? Well, that's another discussion. Ninety-nine point three, so it's got to be over here somewhere. What? You can end a contract early by returning to your truck. Yeah, but I'm not done. Did I hit my? Oh. Okay. Well, I got that, but it's not. Adding to what did I need? Ninety nine point what? I guess it doesn't say. You wish to continue the current con? Yeah, I want to continue it. Contact journal cut. One seventy. Recommended finish time. So I, I'm well under that. Oh no, I'm not. I'm way over that. There was a little bit right there. was cool. How did I do that though? Oh. <laughs> so you can hold it down and it shows you a brief glimpse of it. Doesn't look like you can be moving though. So some of this stuff is like ridiculous. That's a big, long spot there. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Brian Pre Donuts. Something like that. Dude, I do love me some fudge sticks. I haven't had any in a while. Like, probably weeks, months. And when I had those last ones, it would weeks, months before that even. I'm trying to stop. Like, we haven't been doing ice cream at night either. Like... Definitely shedding pounds. Just not very fast. What up, Brian? Uh, definitely on Game Pass. If you have the Xbox Game Pass, which you can play on PC or on Xboxes. And, um, yeah, it's one of the free games. So, definitely use a lot of fuels over my time. Okay. Ooh, it says I can upgrade my HQ, but I want to shop. I want the Mulcher, 2600 so I got to take out a loan. Uh, active loans, apply for a loan. Uh, ooh. Yeah. For, oh, I need credible rank too? Dang. Okay, so I get 2500 Okay, so I got it. That was instant. Instant approval. Uh, 
back over here. Let's go here. Bye. How do I how do I buy? Uh, shop. Options. Uh, test drive. May have to test drive to buy. That would be sort of weird, huh? Funny, I've already actually done this exact same thing. Can I just buy it? How do I? So, do I have to do this in order to? Puts it back in a weird spot or like a useful spot, right? Oh, here, look at that. Get on a vehicle. No. Can I just peace out? I want, I want to buy it though. Hey, Thomas, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Hasn't popped up yet as a new subscriber, but hopefully it will at some point. So I took out a bunch of money, yo, and I can't even do nothing with it. Uh, maintenance. Plates. No, let's fill the gas up. Empty that up. All right. Well, all right, let's go see Nomeo, huh? I have to figure out how to buy a mower later, I guess. You probably have to test drive it and then complete that whole simulation and then go from there, but. Go. So six objects. So you get a bonus for getting it faster. I'm just sort of figuring out. Those birds are gonna be interesting. All right, so I need one more object. Where, where you at? No jump, bro. Nice one. Five oh three. Let's go. It's meant to be. No space in my garage. Good question. I probably don't. That, that's probably it right there, Todd. Why well, you gotta be so smart? Okay, and I need it to be five to six, so let's drop it to five. I'm getting like minor oh, penalties for ramming stuff. For ram run? It's a close shave! Did you read my comment? I left you a couple seconds ago. Not the subscriber one, the other one. Thank you for helping with Lego Lord of the Rings. Awesome. Oh, I got way off track by reading that comment. It's all good, though. Back it up. Back it up. Glad we could help out. Appreciate your support. What's up, Shane? Go around, Rod. <laughs> Gotta love some super troopers.
So that's definitely a, a string trimmer spot. What is up? How goes it, Shane? Just getting our Monday mowing. Got to keep things looking nice and tidy for the rest of the week. Alright, lap one officially co -co 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 complete. Yes, things are well here, too. did finally get my stereo appointment to get my stereo installed in my car, which is definitely good news for me. The bad news is it's not for a couple of weeks. So. And even worser news, it's right during the stream. So we'll not be having a stream, not this Friday, but next. At least not at regular time, anyways. Just depends on how long it takes. Sadly, I don't have, like, a ride. My wife will be at, at work. Um, I don't know if Corey will be around or not. He would be, like, my one-off shot. Mike's going to be working. It's too far to ask Nam to come down to pick me up for an hour, hour and a half. So, uh, yeah, my mother-in-law would likely do it, but it's one of those deals where it's only going to take like an hour, hour and a half, so she'd come get me and then bring me home, and then like we'd be here for like 20, 30 minutes, then we have to go right back kind of a thing, because it takes about 20, 25 minutes to get to Best Buy, depending on traffic. I mean, not the way I drive, but not everybody drives as fast as me. Just finished it last night, huh? Nice. Waiting for other LEGO games to come out. Yeah, sadly, there's uh, no other LEGO games announced. There is one that we're waiting on, but we've been waiting two years for it, and that's LEGO Skywalker Saga, which is expected to be out sometime in spring. So, you know, we're almost to the new year, which is exciting, because that means we're two, three months out from getting it, which is going to be crazy. And I still don't know what that looks like for the channel. The streams will likely take a halt for at least a week, um, meaning no stream at all, and then might return for a couple days a week or something, or shorter streams, two hours streams or something. Um, seven minutes away. Yeah, we're way out south Salem, and uh, the Best Buy is like sort of on the northeast side, so it's like... We're on the opposite side of town, basically. And it's... You drive right by it on the highway. Like, you could literally, like, throw your gum out the window and stick it to the, you know, building wall. But it, uh... You, you can't just get right to it. You have to take an exit that's a couple miles... Like, a mile and a half down the road. And then you gotta fight through, like, three or four or five street lights And, and to come back, you know. So, uh, it's definitely a little bit of a process. It's not bad. I mean... You know, 20, 15, 20 minutes is probably more accurate when I drive it. But like I said, you know, depending on the driver, it could be 20, 25 minutes easy. I've got a lot of other stuff really close, like Walmarts. And we've got Fred Meyer, which is kind of like a Walmart, but more expensive. <laughs> and uh, we've got lots of stuff, but Best Buy, we only have one in Salem. And then the next closest one is probably Albany, which is about 20 miles south. So that one's probably, well, probably more like 30 miles south. So that one's even further. That one's like 45 minutes to an hour away. Boy, being outside all day has really been bothering my allergies, you guys. It's like... I do have an itchy nose, though. That's funny. Is it? That's funny. Yeah, ours is not. We have two Walmarts in between us and Best Buy. And then, and then, like, no joke, on the same road that our Best Buy is on, you go down the road, like, two miles, and there's another Walmart. 
Yeah, we have three Walmarts in Salem. And then... Yeah, I guess we don't have one in Kaiser. We have a Target in Kaiser. Kaiser's like a just a little small town right on the backside of Salem. It's where our in and out is. It's where the Volcano Stadium that I talk about renting out, the baseball, the minor league baseball team is. Yeah, Salem's been around for so long and so big and spread. I mean, it's not really big. It's really a small town, especially population-wise compared to, like, you know, L.A., Atlanta, whatever, but um, even Portland, for that matter. But, I mean, the, the way that it's geographically spread out, like, it's a really wide town, but there's not a lot going on in it. Does that make sense? Like, the boundaries are... Probably almost. I, I don't know. Portland's definitely larger, especially if you get into like the suburbs, Gresham and Tualatin and all that. But your Walmart installs stereos. Uh, no, my my Walmart doesn't install stereos. I mean, I don't, I don't think they do. I, I I wouldn't go to a Walmart for that. I know they do tires and stuff, and some of them too. But I wouldn't go to Walmart for tires either. Best Buy installing my stereo. Let's take a quick peek and see how well I've done so far. Whoops. Come on. <laughs> Not bad. There's that outer edge, which I knew in a few spots was going to be tough, but... getting some thick stuff out here. Is it is it funny that this stream has held a higher consistent uh, group of people than the last couple of Back for Blood streams did? <laughs> Lost Gray too, I think. Gray, how, how's it going? You getting your mowing on? <laughs> oh boy. So what do you guys think? Should Moen Mondays return next week? Is it exciting enough to keep on with the keeping on? Or do we want to see something else? First one as in like your first real job or are you still doing your test run? And definitely take Todd's advice and buy the, uh, the Mulcher, the far right one, the third one. I feel like you're going to progress a little bit better than this guy with this mower. Hey, look. Seven damage in the chat. If you guys had not seen that yet. I'll be mowing around the mountain when I mow. I'll be mowing around the mountain when I mow. Nice, you got the mulcher. Smooth move. Don't worry, I'll be mulching it up in no time. I'll send uh, the other guy, my other employee out in this guy. Whew. I find that if you just like click the right analog stick real fast, 
it'll uh, it'll sort of reposition your camera where it's like right behind you in a fixed position. And then if you press and hold it while not moving, it'll show you your your mo area. Probably not gonna get a full mow in without having to dump. Dang, I did a good job through there. Might even get myself a tip. Looks like there's a little bit of scruff around that thing. Let's go clean that up. Full of tufts. Yeah, so I bought an Xbox Series X so I could get my lawn mowing simulator on. Accurate, but it's not wrong either. Definitely not getting the reputation for being quick and speedy. First day off in three weeks. Dang. Are you still at uh, CJ? CJ's God, I need some more horsepower on this thing. I need to put a turbo on it or something. Not so I can go faster, but just to get better traction. It's like, takes a minute to... And don't make jokes about the guy riding it. If you can see, he's pretty skinny. Light as a feather. Piggy cars? What in the world? I agree. Google it! What in the H is piggy cars? Nice. Working you like a dog. Tell Carl to light, lighten up a little bit. <laughs> Tell Brian said so. Put some chains on them tires, no doubt. <laughs> Gotta get some super swampers on here. <laughs> Them 22s with some meat. So almost funny number. Oh, funny number. Jesper is back. Welcome back, Jasper. 
Haven't missed a whole lot. Just me mowing. Things are still going. I got positive Yelp reviews coming in. Due to some uh, a social media thing that I, I, I did a campaign, an online campaign. Apparently it boosted my social status. But I've been doing a pretty good job mowing. I'm a little slow. Took a chunk out of that tree, though. Got a ramrod. Oh, the bag be full, bros. Well, I am like super slow. <laughs> My Brody Mark's going across the grass there. That's cool. It's cool that it keeps the tracks, too. It's a car rental service. That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> I had a few ideas, Kirsten, but that was not on the list. <laughs> Might have been like a truffle finding service or something. Don't they use pigs to find troubles? I know Chunk is one of the better ones to find them with. Truffle Shuffle. Which is Nom's favorite dance. Oh, did I did I do a Brody back there and did it it warned me on something but I didn't look up to see what it was was I going too fast turning yard damage whoa whoa bro whoa just whoa this is an awkward like couple of mounds here sometimes you feel like a nut Sometimes you don't. All men toys got nuts. Mounds don't. No attacks from snakes, bugs, or anything like that. We wondered if, like, the zombies were going to show up. You know, plants versus zombies. The old backyard standoff. But so far, not, not a thing. It's all, like, real. Like, I gotta make sure that I don't go too fast while turning, and I, you know, when the grass is taller or the ground is not even, I have to make sure that I'm not bogging down my motor, otherwise I can ruin it, which could cause the need for repairs, and, like, I have to get a certain percentage of all the blades cut, and it tells me, like, you're bad. See, like, I missed some right there. So those should be got now. There's some on this other side, too. Let's get those. That should be good to go now. It's fun. It's fun. I mean, I'm not, like, laughing. Not like I was last week playing Deer Simulator. You know, that had, like, a hilarious, you know, level to it where this is more of, like, I mean, it's fun watching me, like, miss spots and, you know, whatever, but... I'm doing pretty good now. Back to the poke and pro. Nice. How, are you okay? Everything good? I mean, depending on what your uh, goals are, sometimes that's a good thing. But I, I don't. In your case, I know that it wasn't. Raised is finally here. You haven't missed a lot, to be honest with you, Ray. It's just me mowing. Although there is an uncanny likeness of me 
and this character in the game. Hi, Sarah. Is it lit up? Can you tell? Can you see? <laughs> Don't forget to click that like button if you like watching me mow lawns. Bang, 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 bang. Like, 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 like. That'd be awesome. through there, huh? Already did. Right on, Just We appreciate that. <laughs> Gotta get that up close. Shave. Get off. Nope. Exactly how I want it. Did I, did I miss that though? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, damn tree hugger. <laughs> tree hugging hippie. <laughs> Can I buy a new vehicle? Yes. Although, I tried to last. Last time I, uh, in between contracts, and I couldn't, and I was kind of, like, bummed out, but I, I couldn't figure out why. So I just moved on, and then Todd, in the chat, brought it up that it's likely because I didn't have room in my headquarters for it. So I think i got to upgrade the headquarters first to give room to store it, which totally makes sense. And then uh, I should be able to buy another one. Now, I don't know that I'll have the funds to buy both. Probably just one, but we'll see. Might have to wait till next week to find out. Stay tuned. I can see this making it back for another week. I don't know about more than that, though. Whoops. By then, Gray and Tude will have surpassed me by a long shot. I'm sure Todd's already ahead of me, but... I don't know that for sure, though. At this point, anything is possible. Yeah, I didn't really get much cut that pass. <laughs> Clean your cupboards every once in a while, Kirsten. Jeez. The dead mice can really uh, <laughs> take one's nostrils for a ride. Even with a mask on, Kirsten, that might be a self check there. You might need to brush your teeth. I'm just saying. I'm not confirming, I'm just suggesting that with a mask on, if you had some smells, it might have not been the cupboard. <laughs> Nobody asked you, Patrice! Fighting words. No, I didn't bring up donuts. <laughs> uh, 
You backed Nom as soon as the stream started, that's why. You immediately became target numero two. And since Nom left, it just leaves you. Gray made the third spot. <laughs> Damn, Nam. <laughs> uh, Nammit. That's what it really is, right? Nammit. What, am I out of fuel? I can't. I, can't. I don't have enough money to, to. Let's blow this joint. We are out of here. Right? The Jefferson Garden has never looked as beautiful as it does now. Damn it! Alright, opening a can in three, two, one. Alright, so nine dollar and eleven cent or nine pound and eleven cent? Is it still cents or is it like shillings or something? Accept <laughs> uh, all. B. Weekly report. Mmm, not bad for our first week. I feel like might be a good spot to just shut her down. Career mode. Hiring employees. New reputation people are applying to work for you. You can view applicants via the button below. If it's gray, denied. Okay, each applicant, Oscar, all right. Oscar Andrews, no comment on that. So they have their own wage demands and experience. So the higher the experience level of the applicant, the more money and RP they will make per contract. Once hired, you can increase the employee's experience level through the training or by them completing contracts. $250 a week. Boy, I get like three or 500 per job. So yeah, I will accept your wages, bro. Uh, you need to have one of each before you employ them. Just want you to employ the applicant. Yes. Okay. Uh, so headquarters upgrade. Like seven days complete cost fifteen hundred. We'll have one extra bay. So so I have. Okay. Okay. Um. Upgrading. It's gonna take seven days to do so, though. It was your fault. You said something. Kirsten backed you, and she became the second target today. So, damn it. So it was said. Makes sense. All right, this will likely be our final contract for the day. Um, Ninety-nine point five. Uh, I cannot buy my new vehicle yet. So, uh, I'll just go ahead and do the work myself. Requires mulcher? Okay, so I can't do that job. And it's five to six. Five to six. Is it the bathroom sink or like the kitchen sink? Our bathroom sink always is laggy like that, but it's due to like people with long hair. Hey, we were already here last week. I left stuff on the yard again. I wonder if it's in the same spots like every time. No, because this one only had three last time, I think. Sounds like me running by. So one more item. It's got to be like right over here. Is that Tyler and his goat horn? Okay, well, where, oh, where is the final piece? I wish I could find it and move on. They like my service so much, they brought me back. 
definitely spending money on fuel. I don't know that I need to do that every time. Hey, Helena, what is up? Welcome to the stream! We want six, right? Five. Let's go five. I do like this mower, how it turns. My mower's never turned like this. It's almost got like the caterpillar effect, huh? Do I have a Twitch too? Uh, technically we have an account there. We don't ever stream there though. We had a hard time building a following there. And it made no sense for us to try to build a following there when we had a following here. So we tried to do some restream stuff where we were streaming at both platforms at the same time. But in the end, everybody was viewing here. And nobody was viewing there. And, and then when the off chance somebody would show up and view there, I wouldn't be likely paying attention and they'd feel left out. And so I just stopped streaming there or stopped re-streaming there and just uh, went full Hammerstein here on the old YouTubies but yes we do have a Twitch account I mean feel free to follow it in the event that I or you know one of the team members goes live at some point I That tree being in my face got me. The brush. And then after a couple of more mows, obviously not today, but after a couple of more jobs, a little couple jobby jobs, uh, we should be able to uh, put old Oscar to work. That'll be dope. So I can buy the other mower, put Oscar on this one. I'll mulch my heart out. I have a quick question. Do I need the gamepad to play LEGO Dimensions? Yes, you absolutely need the gamepad. Now, regarding the rest of the characters, you only need the characters that come with the starter kit, which is where you get the pad, uh, to, to complete the trophy list and the story. So you can legit get the Platinum Trophy by just playing with the Starter Kit. Now, if you want to play all the extra content, find the hidden Easter egg areas, get all the gold bricks, and 100% the game, then you'll need a lot of other characters. Not all of them, but a lot of other ones. And there are some ways that you can use, like, you can sort of make your own characters I don't know all the details on that. I should figure that out and make a video on it. Uh, that'd be actually really smart of me to do. Because people who never played it, who, like, don't have access to all... Like, Gray doesn't have all the characters. And I'm sure he'd rather have the real characters than, you know, use an app to create a fake toy tag. But that fake toy tag would allow him to get to areas that he currently can't get to. And he can experience new things on a game that he bought, what, five years ago? Uh, I see a little patch right there. I gotta go get it. I gotta go get it. Might as well get this little uh, gazebo area too, huh? Save myself some time later. Ah, uh, not 5,000. Shoot, you want to buy mine for five grand? I'll sell you my set. <laughs> but you can find them out there cheaper than that. I've seen full sets go for like, you know, four or five hundred bucks. Used, open, no boxes, things like that. Uh, but, you know, different people have different needs. Some people want them in the boxes, unopened. I have a full set somewhere. I don't... Some of my stuff is missing right now, but we'll find it. Hopefully. Why is Gray hanging? Why are you hanging? Ha 
That's it as much. <laughs> yeah, for five grand, I'd happily sell my Lego Dimension set. You know what kind of fuel upgrades I can buy for my car with that? No, if, if I were to do something like that, it would certainly go towards, like, house stuff. You know, I have a bunch, we, we, you know, we started to document all my sets. We haven't finished the project yet. Uh, once we find that final box, I'll be able to get them all documented. But, I mean, for the most part, we probably got 75%, 70% of my collection. And, you know, I've got probably 45 to 50 unique sets you know, unopened. And then I've got, I don't know how many of those are duplicated. Like, you know, I've got two of the Lego Back to the Future set. Connor, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy our content. I've got uh, duplicates of the Wally set. I've got duplicates of a lot of the seasonal, like turkey and Christmas and Halloween sets that they have uh, that were like sort of limited run bonuses in a lot of cases like you spend ten dollars at the lego store and get this or fifty dollars at the lego store gets you that uh those kinds of things got lots of duplicated ones of those um you know poly bags coming out the wally bag i mean i've got hundreds of poly bags um and let's see you know but i, I think my most expensive set that i have is probably the back to the future one and i think it's only like a hundred and fifty dollars so, I mean, you got to take all my sets and add them up. But if you add all of those up, that's probably a couple grand. But much like my investment money, like I put I put money into it, too. You know, I probably got 1500 into it. And there's probably 25 to 3 grand there. I probably doubled my money after a five-year investment period. Because most of those sets were 2015, 2016. In fact, I had a calendar as a bonus from 2016. So there's an unopened calendar from 2016, but uh, that doesn't probably have any value. But just using that as an example of the time frame. Chacho says, in your dreams, guy. <laughs> uh, I played Lego Jurassic World, a bunch of other Lego. Nice. So you caught up through most of them then. Did you get his Incredibles in there? I don't think I see Incredibles on that list. Ah, I missed some grass. Incredibles is a good one. I, I liked it. It's a little different. It's had a lot of the Pixar characters and stuff. I found it fun. Not everybody enjoyed it. Yeah, the AT AT Walker is crazy. It's like six hundred bucks, seven hundred bucks, something like that. Maybe a thousand. There's a few sets that are really big and really expensive right now. And I, I, I want to get the Home Alone house. I wanted to make a deal with Reese that we were going to go to the Lego store, and, and if they had it, which they probably won't, uh, that we were going to buy one and build it while watching Home Alone. And I don't know if he'll buy into that or not. Tonight, Reese actually has his final driver's ed drive before he takes his test, not this Friday, but No, I guess it's not a Friday. It's the 19th, so it's a Sunday, actually. Because next Friday is the 17th. And I know that because that's the day that I take my car in for my install. And that's also the day that uh, Reese is going to get to go see the new Spider-Man movie. Or if he messes about, I'll, I'll take his place. No, I'm just kidding. He's got tickets for it. He's going with a bunch of his friends. They bought like nine tickets at once, and then it turns out uh, one of them has a girlfriend who was gonna go too, and they bought three tickets on the uh, like on the end. And I'm just now catching up to this and thinking about it. They broke up. I wonder how that'll pan out. Someone might be getting a refund on their tickets. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, and I didn't know this at the time, but Reese actually bought a ticket for a lady friend. Not, not a girlfriend, but I mean, it seems like there might be some effort being put in for this. I have not met this young lady yet. I do not know much about her. He's kept her kind of in the dark as far as parents and information goes. He seems to have told my wife a little bit more because she brought it up to me and I was like, nah, he would have said something to me. And I went and hit him up and he's like, mm, nah, sort of. And I was like, what? How come you're telling mom and not me? Like, bro, this is this is dad's department, not mom's department. <laughs> Lego is definitely expensive. Yes, yeah, so the, the the I think the Home Alone set's three fifty. I'm about ready to recop my PlayStation funds though. So my PlayStation Five for my buddy Johnny shipped last night or yesterday. It's expected to be here on or before Wednesday. So, could be tomorrow. Probably not today. Bummed out too, my boy lives in California. Sort of the LA area. And, uh, oh no, really? I didn't feel like I hit that, but okay. Um, the PlayStation's Orient, uh, or origin, origination for the shipping was Sacramento. So, like, he might have had it as soon as today had it shipped directly to him versus coming to me first, which we tried to do, but I didn't have his address in time of the purchase, so it defaulted to mine, and they won't let you ship change it. And that makes sense, too. My wife brought up a good point. He lives in California. I bought it and paid zero ship or sales tax. And so, uh, you know, California has sales tax, so that would have definitely been a problem glitch in the system yeah, I don't always think about those kinds of things same with like you know probably why I have a hard time damn it sending things to like Tyler through Amazon or whatever because you know international first of all but then obviously like different taxes and stuff too That's interesting though, because we've we've actually bought stuff on Amazon and then shipped it to Washington. We have family in Washington. We also have family in California, and like my mother-in-law, all the time buys like books and things for our, our like my wife's cousins, but her nephew and nephews, um, and they ship right out from Amazon directly down to California. But I wonder. I wonder if we're having to pay any kind of tax. I know that Amazon doesn't pay taxes, or at least that's the big rumor. Um, makes you wonder. Makes you wonder. Nom probably knows the answer to that. He's probably, I'm going to say, he's probably already answered. Uh, Joey says, I want the 89 Batmobile set. Uh, don't be mad at me, bro. It's in the background. You, you probably can't see it due to it being small. But, oh, wait, no, the 89 Batman, that's the, the big one, the big, yes, the Michael Keaton Batmobile. Not the, I have the, I was thinking, I have the classic uh, one that was sort of hard to get for a minute. Now it seems like they mass produced it. Now it's everywhere. When I bought it, like, I thought, oh, this is going to be a gem. This is going to be worth something. Mm -hmm. Not likely. Yeah, I've got the classic Batman. It's like the 70s or no, 60s, I think. Is, but it's just called like the class, classic, I think. I think. Okay, let's go loop around this bad boy. Yeah, rip to the flower for sure. It's all right. With the amount of money these guys are paying me, I can afford a couple of dings. sound effect was perfect timing. I guess euros and pounds. So maybe the 300 pounds or whatever. I wonder what 
300 pounds breaks down to. You know? It's kind of interesting how this business model set up, though, because essentially, Buddy is asked for, I think, 250 a week? And if he does one job, we'll get paid that 250 So if he works one job, he actually pays for his salary for the week. That's kind of funny. And then I can put him to work and he'll do more. Definitely benefits the employer. The 66, is that, that might be what it is. I think, like I said, I think it's just classic. As soon as I'm done mowing, I'll go pop it over. I'll, I'll pull it out. I'll show you. I swear the wording is just classic Batmobile. $397. That's how much... So so the the pound is worth more than the, the US dollar? I know that euros are worth more. I'm not sure about pounds, though. I've never really understood the pounds, because they like all the terms, the quid, and all, all the different, you know. Is the quid just the cents? 25 quid? 25 cents? That can't be right. It's like 20 quid is like something that, like a payout. So, it's a down. Buddy's making $250 plus a week. And I'm going to be banking like a couple thousand a week. Nice one, Ralph. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about pounds or, or, or any of that stuff, as I just mentioned. I've, I, I've never been to any of those countries. When I was younger, I had... Uh, my dad married a woman who... Um, her best friend was an airline stewardess, or whatever you want to call them now. I'm not sure if that's the proper term. Um, flight attendant perhaps um, and she would travel all over the world and uh, she used to bring back all sorts of currencies for me so I'd get like you know a random dollar here a, a coin from there or whatever and I still probably have them in a bag or something somewhere at my dad's house in a box in the attic but I, I don't know that for sure and, uh, beyond that nothing I, I, I know nothing nothing I know nothing all right so uh Blade Runner sprint a total of one mile in career mode. Okay, so I don't even think that's popped up on my screen in front of me, but it just popped up on my my Xbox app on the PC. But maybe I just didn't see it pop up. I don't know. Uh, let's see if I can. How far am I upgrading? So it's still six days left. Let's run an advertisement. Let's run an advert. Five hundred dollar. Let's go. Um... Let's go local. Let's double down. Let's really get the word out there. I probably just spent way too much money on stuff that doesn't matter. Um, let's go 
here. Maintenance. Do some maintenance. Full repair. Fix it up. Dump the bags. Uh, get that going too. Alright, so I'm still sitting on quite a bit of cheese. Um, active loans. I mean, I could pay my loan back right now. I don't really want to do that though. Weekly repayments, 350. Okay. Ten, ooh, there's definitely some interest on that though. What does the second character do? Okay, so the second character, I will be able to come here, and when I choose, I can actually choose an employee. I can choose him. And equipment, and confirm contract. So, he's out doing that. I don't know how long that'll take, though. Is he cutting it? Okay, so Oscar is out there doing that yard. And I don't know how long, like I said, I don't know how long that's going to take. <laughs> um, but knowing right now, I was planning on shutting her down for the day. I guess I'll be back another time to figure that out. Hey guys, uh, mowing Mondays was certainly not a failure. I'm not sure I'm ready to call it a success just yet. 40% interest, is that what it really said? Boy, I better pay that off quickly. Um, yeah, I, I, like I, like Todd said, there's a certain satisfaction or, uh, I don't know, something that comes with this that uh, is definitely not terrible. If you got Game Pass, I definitely wouldn't hesitate to check it out as it is one of the games on there you can download for free. Uh, as for me, though, like I said, I'll likely bring it back next week. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, appreciate all of you. Good to see you, Joey. Glad things worked out that you made it in time raised. Uh, of course, Kirsten, I'm glad you uh, got your cabinet all cleared out. Might want to pop a Tic Tac, but beyond that, uh, just kidding. You know, you know, I'm just kidding. Uh, tomorrow, likely, we'll be at Apex. Likely. We'll see how it all goes. But uh, you know the drill. Head on over to any of our social medias. If you have not already, please check out happythumbsgaming.com. Don't forget to drop comments about whether you want to see more or not. Boy, there's Drex. Anyways, as always, until next time.